Hi everybody, Maria here from Liberty Blue Stit Agents. Hi on this gorgeous day, what fabulous weather we're getting. Um, so this evening I'm going to give you some of my top tips for sellers. So if you're thinking of selling your property, here are my top tips, okay? So it's not just about, I suppose, pricing your house, getting photos taken and getting it up on the market. There's a bit of preparation work that you need to do in advance. So such as, right, so if it was me, I would first engage my solicitor. The minute you think you're, you know, you are going to sell your property, maybe you've had it valued, engage your solicitor early on. So basically your solicitor will get you to sign some documentation if the title deeds are with the bank they'll uh, organize to get the title deeds off them ideally once you get a buyer you want your solicitor to send out the contracts within a week just to keep the momentum going because let's be fair you may have plans you know with the money you might want to clear a mortgage you want to move on to the next phase of your life so by sending the contracts out early it means your sale could close you know four or five weeks in advance i mean if you wait till your sale agreed and then start getting all the information your solicitor needs you're only prolonging the whole process for yourself so if you need a solicitor i mean ask friends and families check out google reviews or ask your agent as well to recommend some solicitors that they you know that would be i suppose do an awful lot of conveyancing and you know focus heavily on it that's what we'd recommend um the next thing you need to do is organize the presentation of your home so if you've got like dark walls and busy wallpaper and so on we'd always recommend to you know paint your home depending on the type of home you have maybe you know paint it like an off-white cream like a very pale gray something like that that'll bounce the light around take down all your family pictures cut back any kind of big trees and shrubs that might be blocking light coming into important rooms natural light is so important to buyers and then with your beds have them dressed with neutral linen and just minimize all the personal belongings i mean if you are limited with storage you know and when you start doing your decluttering you know you may need to bring some stuff to charity shops some people some of my clients actually hire a storage unit you know if they've got a lot of stuff they'll hire a storage unit maybe for you know five or six weeks and that's how they deal with that. Then the next thing you need to do is find your agents. So when it comes to finding an agent, ask, again, ask friends and families for a recommendation. Another handy way, I mean, if you don't have friends and family that have used an agent in recent times, check out their Google reviews because most um, agents, obviously, they all have a profile on Google. I mean, every business does. And a lot of the time, their customers will put up reviews about their experience with the agency, the way people do when they are you know, when they've been to a restaurant, equally buyers and sellers put up reviews about agents. So it's a handy way just to find out a bit about what their customers are saying about them and what their experience is. The other thing you could do is check out the agent's social media activity and also have a look at their website, their daft ads, quality of the photos and so on. If we can help you with anything, just send us a direct message on this page. Thanks for watching and have a lovely evening.